exactly. Interesting. The last time we saw him here as part of a, a, a three-man team with his brothers, he turned on his own blood, his own brethren. Boy, what the... Boy, that was... What, well, of course, the, the other conference that we saw, I believe, were nowhere in sight, so... But regardless, it's, uh, it's been a long time since we've seen Brandon Tomaselli here in the rings of Wildside, and uh, Caprice Coleman, I think, is quite obvious what Brandon Tomaselli brings to the table, and that is, in fact, plenty. I'm not sure exactly what it is Brandon Tomaselli's got against NWA Wildside, but he's also fighting against our cause in IWA Mid-South Wrestling up in the Ohio Valley area, and uh, in that course, he's also fighting with his brother, Sal and Vito, who are defending the honor of NWA Wildside there at IWA Mid-South. So it's a very interesting story, and while it's not all played out here in a Wildside ring, a good portion of it has. And now Brandon Tomaselli returning here to face one of the very best that we've got and Caprice Ice Coleman. And that's definitely a guy that's going to defend the honor of this promotion. Von Caprice Coleman, perfectly capable of defending the honor of some very, very noble causes throughout the year here at NWA Wildside. Caprice Coleman, arguably one of the most talented men in the most talented locker room in all of pro wrestling here at Wildside. But again, the familiarity with Brandon Tomaselli is, is not all that high with, with Coleman. I mean, He's, Brandon Tomaselli is definitely no, no stranger you know, to an NBA wild side, but for, for Coleman, this is going to be a bit more of a test than a number of the great athletes we have here at wild side. Yikes. Coleman with a vicious chop there. Tomaselli hanging on to the leg. Coleman, single leg cradle, just about got him there. Off the ropes he goes, drop down, up and over. Leap frog by Caprice Coleman. Nice drop kick. Coming out of nowhere. Amazing agility, as always, shown by the Iceman. And wait just one minute. For the standing shooting star, nobody home. And all good heavens, TNT, Todd and Tony, the reconstituted TNT, now going after Caprice Coleman. Oh, Unbelievable. Man. Boy, what is this, the official uh, interfere freely edition of NWA Wildside? We saw Caprice Coleman involved when TNT had attacked Tony Mamaluke previously, and Coleman had been there to take off TNT. Big back elbow, elbow drop there by Tomaselli. Look at the leg, two count again. If that. Interestingly, that Brandon Tomaselli look perhaps has something uh, planned with the uh, new involvement of TNT. That's an interesting uh, combination. If Definitely. that's in fact correct, I'm, I'm theorizing it. Yeah, maybe pulling rabbits out of a hat, I'm not sure. Well, they're not here to help Coleman. We know that for a fact. Well, that, that's quite obviously it. Boy, they, they are on Coleman like a bad suit. And that's uh, Brandon Tomaselli with a quick pin attempt on uh, Coleman. I think Brandon Tomaselli is going to very eagerly and with open arms welcoming the interference of Todd and Tony. Their presence here at ringside is, is, is not warranted here whatsoever. Spin scissors kick by Caprice Coleman. Another two count. And Tomaselli again sends Coleman into the lion's den. And once again, Todd Sexton, oh, check that, the Tomasellis are here! Sal and Vito Tomaselli! Not far behind their brother. They came here also to defend the honor of NWA Wildside. Oh, uh, what, what happened to our singles matchup? This match is completely broken down. Yeah, you think so? Boy, the Tomasellis, at Sal and Vito along with the Caprice Coleman with a triple drop kick, sending out Brandon Tomaselli and both members of TNT. <laughs> referee Mike Posey, uh, referee Mike Posey. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been turned into a six-man tag team competition. The teams of TNT and Brandon Tomaselli versus Caprice Coleman and the Tomasellis. No, it's And referee Mike Posey, which would props for one of the more popular decisions of his recent career, turning on a match that was turning, getting out of control and turning it into a six-way matchup, a six-man, uh, this, this sounds like a great one.
And it's Vito Tomaselli getting ready to mix it up with Todd Sexton. The Tomaselli boys quite obviously have a bit of a stake in here because it was Todd and Tony who took their mentor, the Tomaselli's mentor, Tony Mamaluke, out of the picture on the, on the shelf with an injury after being on, on the shelf for a long, long period of time. Well, not quite sure where Tony Mamaluke has ended up. Three of those spike pile drivers will do it to you. Yeah, you think so? Now we got Vito Tomaselli and Todd Sexton starting it out in the ring. Side headlock applied by Sexton. Hopefully wherever Tony Mamaluke is, he's watching this match. I've been seeing his boys defending his honor. Leap frog. High leg lariat there by Vito Tomaselli. Tag made into his brother Sal. Coleman also joins the fray. Tomaselli pounding on sex into the corner. Double Irish rip into the far corner. And there's nobody to tag Todd Sexton. Good strategy in the park. Oviedo and Sal Tomaselli and Caprice Coleman. And look at the Saints lining him up with this combo. Finishes him off with a high knee and then a moonsault knee drop. Here comes Coleman springboard splash. For a team that frankly did not exist five minutes ago, they're functioning remarkably well. Sal and Vito Tomaselli along with Caprice Coleman. And boy, and Sal. Boy, sending uh, Todd Sexton down in a heap. Side rushing leg sweep by Sal Tomaselli. Drop of the leg. Drop of the elbow. Drop of another elbow. Hook of the leg again. Two count. I can't help but think that the big part of the inspiration behind this matchup is Tony Mamaluke. Knee to the back. Big drop kick there, TNT working very well as a team, as they always do. You have to do one of the best drop kicks in pro wrestling, that of Todd, the technician Sexton. As now Brandon Tomaselli opening up on Sal Tomaselli. Oh, it's definitely. a family affair. Oh, and down he goes, gut first onto the knee, and a knee to the side of the head. Brandon Tomaselli off the ropes again, running, shooting, star. Brandon Tomaselli expecting a round of applause, not getting it from the faithful here at the NWA Arena, nor is he getting a three count for his efforts. You know, it's really got to make the Iron Saints blood boil to know that their own brother is assisting two guys that tried to put the mentor, the very man that brought them into NWA Wildside out of wrestling in Tony Mamaluke. It's got to make them incredibly angry, but it's also got to make them motivated. And right now is Tony straddling and beating the tar. Out of Sal Tomaselli, you know that's going through his mind. Hook leg, two count. Tony Stradlin doing himself as the future WWE superstar, which very well may be the case. If a head case himself. Two count again. Stradlin tags into Sexton. Here we go. Todd Sexton, forearm shot. Places Sal Tomaselli onto the top rope. Sal fighting back, but the Sexton responds in kind as Sal Tomaselli in a most unfortunate position. Very vicious forearm shots at Sexton's got him way up. Sexton on the top. Gigantic superplex. Outstanding, in comes Vito Tomaselli and Caprice Coleman putting the kibosh in that pin attempt. Oh, there's one of the famous phantom tags. Tony Stradwell now opening up on Sal Tomaselli, who's been on the receiving end of much punishment. Oh, a pair of thunderous kicks to the chest. Stradlin lighting up Sal Tomaselli. Tomaselli ducks the clothesline. Off the ropes he goes. Spinning around, cinches all the way around. Remarkable show of balance and agility from Sal Tomaselli. All the more remarkable considering what he just spent through. Absolutely tremendous, Steve. Tony Stradlin is uh, tagging the wrong corner. In comes Todd Sexton, but here comes Caprice Coleman. And the complexion of the match is considerably changed. The man with the golden gloves and the ice cold fists, Caprice Coleman, swinging. But Sexton, reversal there. Off he goes, Coleman with the 
the Shining Wizard. Knocking the jaw of Todd Sexton out of line. Uh, Tony Stradlin in a position to put in the kibosh on that pin attempt. I believe it was, but heavens, a mule kick. That certainly did a number on uh, Coleman. I think Sexton knows the legal man, though, isn't he? Double underhook DDT. Look at Tomaselli with a fisherman's buster. That may have put his brother out of commission for good in this boy, match. Boy, with a leap and state of here comes Vito Tomaselli and Brandon Tomaselli mixing it up. Referee Mike Posey rapidly losing control of this match. Vito Tomaselli bringing from an inverted suplex all the way to his knee. Kicks him in the face, kicks him in the back of the head. Sexton comes in the ring, pitches the leg, drag and screw, leg whip. And Sexton's the legal man. But Javito Tomaselli is not the other one. That would be Caprice Coleman. And that would also be Caprice Coleman's bulldog. And it's got bite. Off the ropes he goes. TNT catches him. Here comes the X bomb from Tony and Todd. And Vito and Sal in to make sure that pin does not take place. Sal sending Todd Sexton over. Vito sending Tony Stradlin over. Brandon Tomaselli is primed in the ring. Flapjack by the Iron Saints. Oh no! If they hit this, it's gonna do it. One of the most devastating tag team moves in wrestling, the victim of circumstance. The victim is clearly Brandon Tomaselli, right for the pinning. Oh no, Tony Stradlin and, and Todd Sexton leveling the remaining Tomasellis. Stereo TNT super kicks and a high cross body on a Stradlin by Coleman. Dug of a clothesline, boot to the midsection. Coleman's got him hooked. Here comes the canoe. Sexton out of the way of the comatoser, goes for the super kick. Coleman blocks, goes for thermal shock. Sexton counters, sunset flip. And Stradlin holds the arm. With an assist for Pete's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, TNT and Brandon Tomaselli.